Hello and welcome to the Pearls in Texas podcast. Happy New Year Happy 2023. New Year. 2023. Crazy. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Melissa. I'm Carrie. Sorry, it's been a um, a bit since we podcast. We tried to, <laughs> to do it right um, between the holidays, and I ended up getting COVID. Actually, I got it. My parents got it, so it took us out for a few weeks. Um, yeah, and so but they're better now. We're better now. Yep, and yep. We um, you know it took us out each probably a week, <laughs> but. My mom and I kind of had it maybe a day apart and when we started with symptoms and my dad was a few days later. So, um, but anyway, we're all good now. And, uh, but I didn't want to expose anyone else or Don't anything like that. So, yeah, I mean, I could have used the excuse not to go to work. But... <laughs> Paige actually got COVID right be the week before Christmas. Yeah. And so we postponed my family's Christmas Eve. And then Cody, her boyfriend, ended up getting it New Year's Eve. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so then they were planning on having a New Year's Eve party at her place. And then, of course, they had, they to, they had to cancel that. So, yeah. But, I mean, it goes around, you know. I yep. mean, I, I knock on whatever, I still have been lucky enough not to have had it in all these years. Yeah. Wow. They started, well, that's what so. we said when we got, we're like, well, we've, you know, avoided it all this time. And we haven't, you know, mm -hmm. been really extra careful i was out from day one of covid with my job having to work and so we were very fortunate to have gone yeah. this long without getting it sure. so i know people that have had it three times three yeah, four times I've heard, I've heard yeah so, some people are like mm -hmm. yeah. yeah but anyway today is um saturday january 14th and this is episode 33 i don't think i said that yet oh, <laughs> so, yeah. that so. and so we're getting um, up there <laughs> yeah so if you're a returning viewer Welcome back. We yes. appreciate you spending time with us, and um, we're glad to be seeing you and talking to you again. And if you're new, welcome, and we hope you enjoy what we bring. We're not the yes. most polished of podcasts, but we no. have fun. We like to laugh, <laughs> and we just kind of go with the flow on things. Absolutely. <laughs> we're definitely a go with the flow. Yeah. We all have fur dogs and fur babies, so. Yeah. yeah. There I'm sorry, be... there's a doggy door, so if you... <laughs> we're at my house, so my dogs are like just. It's just fine. Going, That's up, life. going about life so that's right mm -hmm. all right well we want to start with what melissa is wearing look at that love note doesn't melissa look beautiful today oh, yes, she, she came in she always comes in looking like she has to work model. after this we're podcasting pretty early and uh, she has to yeah. work after this so she's got an open house this afternoon so mm -hmm. you look amazing thank you yeah. so yes this is my love note the only sweater i got finished <laughs> last year <laughs> I'm trying to get more, um, you know, but you're a lot busy. going on. It's like my whole life just shifted, getting my real estate license. Of course. You know, it's it's been an adjustment. But so. you know, that's what's great about knitting. It's there when you're ready yep. and it mm -hmm. can be put on hold when you when life happens. Yeah. So, so. Or, or crocheting or quilting or whatever the yeah. craft mm -hmm. may be. And yeah. it's important not to put pressure on yourself, right? I know Absolutely. we tend to kind of do that. Oh, we can't podcast if we don't have anything. And so we tend to kind of put pressure on yeah. ourselves. Oh but, my God, they want to podcast this weekend. Yeah. What am I going to show? But you I don't know? think but. we have to because we know you guys <laughs> will be here anyway, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth's always got yarn she's purchased, so who's that? <laughs> always that. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, this year I'm trying to make more commitment to do the things that I love. Um, like I started trying to go back to the gym. Oh, good. I've tried, you know, going to meet on Mondays for sewing. Um, those little things, because I know, you know, that brings me joy and seeing yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Good. Sure. Mm -hmm. Make time for yourself. Good. And Carrie, you're not wearing any knits. I'm wearing. Oh, um, oh I take it back. <laughs> rock, uh, rock, paper, scissors, Those lizard, Spock, or whatever. That's a have you? That's a Big Bang Theory. Oh, where oh Sheldon God. makes his, it's turtle pearl, and it's called oh, okay. rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. He oh makes up gosh. his own like okay. little thing. So I watch the yeah, office. darling got yeah. me those, and I got some. I know they got theirs in September, but my kids Those's got me. Funny. The um, Bertie Parker, mine are mine are both knit on both sides yep. because I like clearly, the shape. Mm -hmm. Clearly, my kids know that I don't like to pearl. So <laughs> <laughs> even though my dog is named Pearl, I, I don't know if people know that, but it's P U R L is yeah. is Pearl. But anyway, that's so, so funny. Those are my those are my knitted things. The socks I knitted those years ago. Darling got got me the yarn yeah. because of the Big Bang Theory um, naming convention okay. type thing. So yeah. 
Okay. Our our marriage has been saved over rock paper scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's the mar marriage counseling one hundred and one. Rock paper scissors. We're like, you want to play rock paper scissors? <laughs> that's great. That's great. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so funny. And your sweater. So, and this is one of my FOs. This is the Jessamine Shaw, for, or Shaw, sweater, cardigan from Rosemary Drysdale. And it was in, um, I can show you. It was in the Noro Magazine, um, issue 19. And it's knit out of Noro Viola. And it took, my size took two skeins. I think I made the second size, so I don't know if it was yeah, number two or whatever. Yeah, put on all your whatever. purchases. Let's <laughs> see. They're all falling so, off. It's a really cute pattern. It's um, just like a very fitted, cropped um, it's sweater. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. And it has bobbles that increase as it goes up and then That's straight cute. once you hit, I think, seven across on my size. So um, it's very warm. It's wooly. I love it, but it's not scratchy wool. I mean, oh, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's it's all just 100% wool, but um, it's not scratchy at all. And yeah, I've been. it didn't take me long to knit and because um, it was... I forget what weight, Aaron weight maybe, and um, so it went really quick. And you did knit it in pieces. I was like, oh, I should probably just adjust it and knit it in the, you know, not in the round, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like, but, yeah. The sides. But I was like, no, because maybe I need the seaming for the stability to keep the shape of it. So sure. that I went ahead and did it. It didn't take me that long to steam, you know, mm -hmm. short little seams. I did do the sleeves differently, though. Did they you pick up stitching? Had you knit the sleeves flat and then join them and then seam all that. And I'm like, no, I picked up stitches around. Yeah, that's what yep. I would have done. Yep. Mm -hmm. So anyway, and then you just pick up and knit the button bands and the uh, neckband after. So it's pretty Very easy. Cute. And I didn't really, surprisingly, my stripes kind of all matched up pretty well. I didn't manage it because i mean i just had the exact amount of yarn sure yeah mm -hmm. so um yeah i'm debating about putting maybe some snaps like those big chunky snaps or just like the cross ones yeah oh yeah i could do yeah. that i don't know but the, i just kind of really wear it open i like it open. So, i think it looks nice and then like if it's real cold i'll throw a shawl on with it and call it a coat <laughs> yeah because it's always so cold here right? it was 80 Four the other day. I oh know. my gosh! Today it is cold. Though. It's a little chilly today. It's forty six right now, yeah. so that's was, cold for us. It, it was cold when I woke up at seven. It was like thirty something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, all right. Um, do you want to sh show some FOs? I do, but most of my oh, FOs yeah. are going to have to be inserted from a picture, um, because you know it was the holidays, so a lot of my FOs were Christmas gifts. So <laughs> I. I did three gnome ornaments. One went to our Christmas party. We do an ornament exchange, and then one went on my Christmas tree, and one went on Paige's Christmas tree. I did two men's hats, and uh, Elizabeth has, I mean, Melissa has pictures to upload those. And then I finished for Darlene, I finished her boxy cape, and she loves it. It was in a different material. It's bright red, it's called Poppy. And um, it has a cotton base. I've been trying to do more cotton-based knits for her. Just because we do live in Texas, and yeah. I've been just trying, instead of always having wool. Um, Jackson, what are you doing? Yeah. Jackson's just like Sorry. getting into Elizabeth's stuff over there, Mr. It's Nosy. The <laughs> and uh, so, he's so fun. Did he pull that out? No. Oh. <laughs> he see me. And so I, the boxy was with the cotton, and then um, her advent stall, which was, it's a test knit every year, and I can't show it until Christmas time, so that was real pretty. That's and gorgeous. then um, yeah, some, green, so some green socks, so more of that barley pattern. I'm obsessed with that barley pattern, DK weight socks, and size 7 needles. I have like five more skeins of that base of yarn, Emma's, Emma's yarn DK, because it has nylon in it. Yeah. And um, I have like five more skeins. I'm going to knit like five more. I'm just absolutely obsessed with that yarn and that pattern. And just it just goes it's so fast. It's a great fast. combo. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it just goes really so fast. Combo. So I did those. And then just last night, this hasn't been blocked, I finished um, Darlene's birthday present. So um, Darlene's birthday is January 22nd. Happy and birthday. Yes. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday Darlene. <laughs> sure, we'll talk to you. But <laughs> And this thing is huge. This is the... A tune shawl by Andrea Mowry, and it's not meant to be this large. But again, I did a completely different yarn base for this. Like I said, I'm trying to go. It feels so nice. It does. I wish you could all feel it because it's like so squishy but light it's a and airy. Mix. 
It's this so is the nice. yarn. It's called the Easy Breezy what? Yarn, and it's 51% uh, bamboo, 49% cotton in Ravelry it's listed as an Aran weight but I really think it's more DK yeah. and the label actually says to knit it with a size eight needles which I did but I really think that I should have gone down but I was too far in before I I thought well but but you know it, it adds to that airiness right you can I see kind perfect. of the red behind me and stuff so um, especially for Texas I think yeah. it's perfect and I had to stop sooner because it was just getting so big I think when <laughs> I I hold it out it's from hand to hand and then it goes beyond my butt so and she's about the same size as me so it's it'll be big enough for it's sure it's so cozy for mm -hmm. a bamboo cotton it's so cozy it, it, it is i can't wait to give it to yeah. her yeah and i actually have enough of the yarn you know of course burnt orange <laughs> i have enough of the yarn to make myself one so i might oh you should i Aww. might i might go to to a seven just to keep yeah. the the drape a little bit on the on the down low but um Anyway. Well, then you would know, too. Yeah, like I would know the difference. Indicator. Yeah, and mm -hmm. if I ever got the yarn again. But yep. anyway, so Beautiful. Um, that's my F.O. And then, while this is all finished, it is not seamed together. But my blanket, <laughs> it's blocked. I've blocked all the pieces individually. They're ready to seam. I was going to seam yesterday, so I had it ready for today's podcast. But the mountain cedar is literally trying to kill me. So <laughs> I woke up yesterday feeling absolutely yeah. like crap. And I slept probably more than half of the day. I probably slept, got 13 out of a 16-hour day. Oh I mean, it was, it was terrible. I was just sleeping That's good so for much. you, though. You need mm -hmm. it. So, yeah. So anyway, so they're all, they're all blocked. And they're all done. That's the... Strata blanket. Earth right? Strata. Earth strata. Uh -huh. So this mm -hmm. was Jimmy Bean's Wool 2022 um, Blanket Club. Yeah. And um, I signed up, um, Elizabeth and I both signed up for 2023, and mm -hmm. we'll show our yarn for that later. But I will not start the next one until I finish this. That was my goal. So. Yeah. And that's that's my foes. All right. You want to go? I kind of, so I got a good delivery. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show my... Oh. Oh. I just did two really quick. Um, I just finished this while they were here chatting. Those um, are so cute. Those are cute. Dishcloths. So that was it. So I was in DFW. I ordered a Dean and Bean sock knitting machine. She did. Um, so I got shipping notice and then that's when the stocking began. <laughs> <laughs> from ups <laughs> it came at eight o'clock at night and i was up till one in the morning <laughs> that's great i met the guy at the end of my driveway oh, that's and i so said funny. i love you and we are now best friends and i don't even know your name <laughs> he was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> he had no idea <laughs> but i waited probably 13 weeks for this package <laughs> or yes. longer so I went in with Knit Picks because I'm like, it's Knit Picks. Um, it's, you know, price affordable. Um, but then in their group, they said to practice doing heels over and over again, like stop ripping out the whole thing mm -hmm. and practice doing heels. So this is my double heel <laughs> or toe. <laughs> um, this is just out of Savvy Skein Scraps from her club colorway um, in Livia or her Deeds. I forgot what it was called. So... And you and picked then, up the technique really quickly. I, try, I she watched did. a lot of YouTube She's done more than I have. And I've had my machine <laughs> well, over a year. you really quickly, too. But then you just didn't. It's the learning. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it, you've got to put the dedication into the learning curve. Yeah. yeah so. And then I did, this is yarn from Elizabeth gave me from her friend for this. Mm -hmm. um, so I did these. They ended up being like two different sizes a little bit. Like one is thicker than the other. And then I dropped stitches um, doing the folded hung hem. Um, and then they're a little bit too small for me, so uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to rip these apart or what. Or maybe give them to Audrey. I don't know. <laughs> and then this I'm is... I'm sure Audrey would love them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I tried... I tightened the tension up on this one a little bit. And then I figure I kept dropping stitches on my hung hem, so I just thought I would just rip back and then do a knit to curl two. But these ended up being like a little bit too tight. So then this is my first real success. <laughs> And they look amazing. And they too. match. They're good. I still have to Kitchener this side and even my ends. Um, these fit a little bit big, but 
you know, I didn't drop any stitches on the hung hem. Um, I did a little bit shorter of a hung hem. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. They and look this great. This is I have the label. It's Savvy Skeins. It's not her main stock mm. um, brand. Not the sensible one. It's another one. It's like 100% wool in her tea colorway. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> this is the tea colorway? Um, it is English tea and sophisticated. Oh, it's so pretty. Oops. Sorry. Ooh, technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> Blame it on the dog. Yeah. I'm sure. And he could, he's coming running right now. Like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? What'd you do, mama? So, so I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty excited. Um, I tried to use her, the 72 inch cylinder, but I have to put some sandpaper and sand it down a little bit. It catches on my needles. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay. It's good. It's been fun. Because those are 3D printed. They yes. are 3D printed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. um, it's been a learning curve. <laughs> but it's been fun. It's been for, like, my husband's like, so do you love it? I'm like, we have a love-hate relationship. But now it's getting yeah. to be more of the love relationship. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, yeah. I had that same thing, too, though, where there's days where I'll go and I'll try to crank a pair of socks and it's like everything goes wrong. And it's, like we were talking earlier, it's best oh. at that time. Like, just walk, walk away, away. Uh -huh. and then come back to it another time. And the next time you come back to it, it everything will go like perfectly. Mm -hmm. So when you talk sure. about the love hate relationship, it's real, and you just learn to live with it. And, and if you take drop, it when yeah. it comes, and you get really good at picking up drop stitches. Yep, that's how you learn. Mm -hmm. Learn from your mistakes, lessons in life. And then, so I went to sewing on Monday, and I Paula was trying to get into this bag earlier. She's like, "Let me in, let me in." <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this one. Um, it came as a blueprint kit my mom got me for Christmas one year. Um, I don't have a 10 size quilt, so going to knitting retreats where you need to bring your own quilt or anything like that, I didn't really have one and I had to steal my daughter's purple flower one, which is nothing <laughs> wrong with that. But um, So this one, it took me a while, it was three jelly rolls. Maybe oh I gosh. should just insert a picture. <laughs> There we go. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's, um, so... it's on the bias, so everything like stretched, and I think mine turned out a little bit bigger than what it was supposed to. But they're like log cabins, and then you flip it on their sides. But so some, pretty. Yeah. So now I'm starting That's to hand sew the bad. binding, and I think the darker binding kind of makes it all. Yeah, pop, it frames so, it. So yeah. it does pulls it all together. Yeah, and then our That's good gorgeous. friend Tammy did the quilting on this. Looks great. <laughs> yeah. There's a pen in here somewhere, so if someone gets poked oh. while touching it. If I deflate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it, and I haven't been poked, so. Okay. So I'm working on this one, and I'm working on trying to finish something completely before I start something okay. new. Yeah, that's a, so, that's that's a thought. hard. That's but, a thought. <laughs> but I'm very excited to have a quilt this size. Yeah, that's awesome. Is that it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Those aren't really FOs, but they're super Well, it close. is. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. I have a couple FOs. Um, last time I think I showed the, Good. this was a whip. These are the Vintage Fairy Light Socks by Helen Stewart. And it was part of Little Bobbin's Christmas Very Eve cast socks. on a couple years ago. So I finished those. And um, yeah, happy with those. And then I made a couple of gift hats just really quickly. My dad, I made him, Mary made him a hat and then I had made him a hat and he wears his hat to walk the dogs all the time. And so one, a couple of years ago, I bought a skein of yarn. I thought I'll make him another hat. And I, I was like, so excited. I'm like, dad, I bought this yarn. I'm gonna make you another hat. I don't need another hat. I'm, I'm sure that's exactly name. how he sounded. <laughs> <laughs> so I put the skein in my stash. And I'm like, well, screw you. <laughs> and it just sat in there. But I thought, oh, you know, he really does need another hat. And so I made him, this was um, with uh, Malabrigo Rios in the color way, Silo y Tierra. And so it's like a blue, it's very with brown, very brown and gray. It's really nice. And so I nice did. I held it double, and I just did a two by two purl, and then it's so it's super thick for him, and he it rolls is. it up. So he loved. He loved it. He opened it on Christmas morning. He goes, "Oh wow, this is amazing!" I'm like, "Yeah, you didn't need another hat, but." <laughs> 
I didn't, still say, I didn't say that but I wanted to. <laughs> anyway, it was just funny. My mom's like, he loves it. I'm like, okay. And then um, I made my mom several hats, but she didn't have a really thick one either. So I knit this. This was a test knit from um, Tati Lutuka, I think her last name is. The a designer from um, Ukraine, but she lives in the Netherlands. Um, anyway, this was just a very simple free pattern. I think it's called the tiny pom-pom hat. I did not put a pom-pom on it because my mom's not a pom-pom wearer. But I used leftover um, DK weight held with Surrey. The um, DK was just leftovers from my, um, what's that, Andrea Mowry, the comfy fade cardigan. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what all the greens were. And then I had, um, and they're, they're all from Nice and Knit which I don't think they make yarn anymore or dye yarn anymore. Nice and knit DK. And then I held it with a strand of Surrey in the colorway castle from uh, Red Stag Fiber, which is a really pretty green. Anyway, it turned out real pretty and I just kind of faded it. Like I started with my lightest color when it ended, I went to the next one and I just used up all my scraps. Okay. And it's super warm <laughs> because of the Surrey. And then she, again, it's thick Double and it. she wears it okay. up like that. And she loves it's it. It's really great on your ears. Yeah. Like that. And it's super soft. It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So I made that. Um, and then I had the Chelsea Lux um, Advent in the Sparkle base. I forget what it's called, but this is Sparkle base. And I did the um, pattern that came with the Advent was the Apres Ski. And it was a cowl that you knit you know, a little bit every day. So like you can see this was day one, day two, day three, and you just knit a little bit every day, which I did and I really enjoyed it. There were only a couple nights where I was like, oh, I'm so tired after work, I don't feel like doing it, but I'm like, no, do it, you know. So I kind of had a little ritual, I would wind it up, knit it, and then, and it didn't take very long to knit each part. And so at the end, then I had this beautiful sure. cow. And it's really nice, it, um, it's really easy to wear. That's pretty. And you can put fringe on it, but I chose not to. Um, I, oh, and I held, I'm sorry, I held the, the, um, minis with, um, just a natural color, um, Surrey alpaca from Hill Country Weavers, our, one of our local yarn shops. And, um, anyway, you can put fringe on it, but I chose not to because you don't use very much of the minis. And so I have enough to make a whole other call. And so that's why I didn't do the fringe. Sure. I'm going to make one as a gift for my, for my girlfriends or my sister. I haven't decided so anyway there's that and then my blanket is finished I finished it, she did before, so the, it before the new year I was pretty happy about it and so got it all seamed so you can kind of see what it looks like oh, it looks amazing I did not have enough yarn for tassels I should have brought you my scraps in case you it's needed okay. them you can take my scraps in a pile. So I don't know if when I'll finish yet. So <gasps> we're gonna keep on you. You gotta okay. get it done. This is like the boxy all over again. I'm having PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> and a love note, didn't and she? Love love you? Yeah. Love she note. was the reason we wouldn't get cold I think, weather. Yeah, I think, um, she sounded you on all your stuff. She stopped our sweat of oh, the pressure. <laughs> Just so anyway, those are my finished objects. I also made a few pair of Christmas socks, but I just cranked them on my machine and print them because they're already put away. Sure, sure. So yeah, how about whips? What so them? many. So many. so many. No, I mean wow. I do. They're all over my house, but oh, wow, that's, that's impressive. Okay, I don't so have that many whips. My, you never have that many. I guess I don't. I finished yeah. a pair of tube socks. Um, out of mustache yarn. I'll put a picture up, but um, my daughter stole them. <laughs> so I decided to take another one out. Another and, tube out? Yes. And then this is how far I got. Oh, <laughs> I think it looks good. That's cute. Yeah. So this was, again, part of my Savvy Skeins Club. I was in a couple years ago. Can't believe it's been a couple They're years really already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one I did not love in the skein. It looked kind of... Yeah, we weren't sure. It was... I don't know, it was like big chunks of green and then gold, and it's tied after the elf movie. Mm. I, I love the I way it came out. When it knit up. Nutcracker. When it knit up, it was yeah. really neat. So I'm really happy with these. So Allie knows what she's doing. She, she does. Yeah. <laughs> she does. I'm, she I'm trusting does. the process. <laughs> 
And I did extra rows. I think I did seven extra and it creates a deeper heel and I really like that. Mm -hmm. So I always do that. Mm -hmm. And I think we did an or or a tube exchange one year, one Christmas. So yep. half of this I think my friend Mary has, or our friend Mary has yeah. the second half. So I I'm pretty sure she already knit first. She probably did. Yeah, she probably did. <laughs> she probably did. She cranks those out. She's super so, quick. And then I had another pair. My cat tipped over a glass of water and I haven't checked to see oh, what no. the damage on this is. <laughs> Cats. So I think I'm done with the decreasing. You look good. Um, did you finish the Hohi Locatelli? Oh, oh, oh. No what? <laughs> no pressure. No, I I didn't ask that question. Okay, <laughs> when maybe when I finish one thing at a time. Okay. I forgot about get those tacks. I want to make those too. <laughs> so these are turning out fun. But those are pretty. They have a little I cable like, on them. I like the pearl row. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't like purling, but I like the pearl row. <laughs> I, like I tried to them. get them to line up with the little color blips in the yarn, yeah. but I kind of missed on one of them. Cute. So and those were um Tracy Miller's Skywalker socks yes mm. so I'm I've enjoyed working on them when I do work on them but That's not awesome. often <laughs> not often enough I need to get That's back right. into it a little bit at a time mm -hmm. do you want to go sure I only have one whip <laughs> I need two so I um I one of my goals this year is to knit some of my stash because it's kind of out of control at the moment um, so I started a Never too another much. love note. Oh, I don't need to show that, but started a love note because I just love the feel of that. But I'm doing it without the lace and um, the yarn. I'm sorry, my little snowman bag. I love that bag. There's a couple more still. I think on Etsy, my Etsy shop, and everything's on sale right now through the end of the month. I'm trying to clear it out so I can get some new stuff in. But this is um, from Woolberry Fiber Co. And it is on her berry home dk base which is 100 percent non-superwash merino and so i wanted to try the non-superwash and it's in the color garden party and i did this last year i think i got it on a, a pre-order and it's um it's really pretty lavender and it's got like some brown like a taupey color a pale mushroomy color and it's really pretty and it, in some spots it almost looks like a little bit of bluish but I just started this I think this week, or last week. <laughs> last last night. Wait, really? Last fast. Fast. I just started last, last night, night and I'm so, almost done. <laughs> so I'm on the. Um, There's no hate. We love her. I'm on the. Just a little bit of hate. Ribbing on the bottom, and then I'll do the sleeves. <laughs> so I'll have it done this weekend. That's my goal. But I so didn't, haven't done today. I didn't do the lace, and this will all block out flatter when it's done. Um, I knit it. Oh, I uh, like your stitch marker. A little bit. Sorry, of, I got distracted. <laughs> it went up a needle size. I'm using a ten and a half. Um, the last one on DK Superwatch, I think I used a 10. I don't know why I used a 10 and a half. I think I wanted it just a little bit looser um, so that I can wear it, get a little more wear down here. And because it's just all wool, I think, of course. It'll, I think it'll be good. Did you, is it just one big skein or do you have to rotate skeins or how? So, um, and no, it's not one big skein. I have actually four skeins and this is, I'm on my third skein. Okay. Which I think I'm, yeah, I'm on my third skein. I may... Just barely use part of the fourth skein. I don't either. even know that you need the fourth skein. I'm going to do long sleeves, though, because my other one has three-quarter sleeves. The other one I made with her yarn, um, which was the DK base, but it was super wash. But I only had three skeins, and I wished I had had a little more because I would have made it a little longer. So this one I made a little bit longer, and I'm going to make the sleeves longer okay. instead of three-quarter. But um, I, I did two-by-two two rib on the top instead of the one-by-one. One. Um, no lace. Just knit straight. So real quick, and then I'm doing two-by-two. Two ribbing on the bottom. Um, so, sorry, you asked me about alternating skeins. I did not alternate skeins in the beginning. I started alternating as I was getting down to the end of the second, or the first skein, and blended those in. And then, um, same thing on the third skein. And it's kind of interesting, I don't know if it's because of the way I'm knitting, but this actually started to get more brown in the skein, I think. But it might have been, again, because the the circumference that I'm knitting right. caused patterning to change. to change. But I kind of like it. I like it. I think it looks yeah. great. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so yeah, that's it. That's my love note, my only whip I have. I gotta get something else on my needles. <laughs> Along with, I have two. Along with the uh, Bernie Parker earrings, um, Paige got me this. What a good daughter. Oh, whoa. 
that's cool. Mm. <laughs> and it fades. It it's like, like really thick sections of fade. I have a picture I'll send Melissa of the finished socks. It's, um, I don't know, SYB yarn. Um, and oh, is Birdie it the Shirley Bryant? Yeah, uh -huh, Shirley Bryant. Deconstructed. Uh -huh. Right. Yes. De Deconstructed fade socks. So yep. this was okay. a Bertie Parker exclusive. So Bertie Parker and her got together and did like an exclusive thing. No. And, Your um, daughter nailed it. Yeah, she did. Did you tell her you wanted that? I mean, um, had you hinted? I had, I had made a comment okay. about Bertie Parker okay. earrings. So, um, but she did the yarn all by herself. She saw wow. the kit. It actually came with a little, it's over there. It's a little tray. Um, you could either get it with a pendant or like a little trinket tray, right? Like little stitch markers and stuff. Uh -huh. The tray's like this big and it's like black and oranges and greens. It has like the same type of, um, and I'm not very far. I, um, I'm trying to decide. I, I know people, there's lots of people who just don't care for Magic Loop because they feel like they're doing constant cord management. And sometimes I feel like that, but I timed myself on the small circular and the magic loop. And for three rounds, I'm still faster with magic loop. Really? Wow. I don't know how. It's just, but I also yeah. don't like getting the, the sides. It's not really a ladder, but it's not as seamless as okay. if you were just knitting in the round. So it's just kind of like a fold, right? It's just a fold because it's been folded the whole time. But I've does been it block it. out? It does block out. Okay. It does. But when I use I double I points. No, I think I did knit one pair of socks. When I use I double points, my, my, and I started learning socks in double yeah, points. And yeah. now when I go to double points, I can't block out those ladders. The ladders, and you don't my get ladders, ladders are too big. They're mm -hmm. double points. Not too yeah. They're good. Yeah. So anyway, so I've just barely started them. And um, I just have them, you know, just going. So I think it's so interesting that different knitters like Magic Loop versus Double Point. You know what I mean? And get better results than others. Like, I just think that's so interesting. It is interesting. And I do think also that sometimes it even changes. Like, I, I don't like magic loop but i bet if i i haven't done it in years and if i tried it now i might like it you know what i mean like your your taste right. changes your, your, your taste do change I because know. i never thought i would it's leave double points and i did and when i first started magic loop i mean i get i get the whole oh this is constant cord management <laughs> like you know like yeah. like i think if elizabeth were to go back to magic loop she'd be frustrated for the first week or so because yeah. there's so much cord to do right but I just have done it for so long that for me, it's harder with those tiny little needles. Like my, my flow just doesn't go. Like I just, yeah. I, but I'm sure if I gave it a little bit longer and, you know, like not got frustrated yeah. and just kept trying and trying and trying, but I also get more cramps uh, yeah. with those tiny little needles. So then I'm like, yeah, I can't do this. I need to go back to my magic loop. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, so. Um, I do notice the double points because I used to be a magic loop. Looper, uh -huh. and then I kind of got sick of the cord. Hmm. Um, but I, I feel like I drop more stitches with double, double points. Point. Is it because they slide out? I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure because like the socks I finished last time, I when I took them off, there was a drop stitch in the middle of it. I'm like, what? Have you tried those <laughs> flexi? I have a pair. Yeah. Oh, and then you know what? I saw someone. Do you like them? A little bit, yeah. Okay. And, then... and I also saw someone. Um, I think it's Chiago now is making the really short cord, uh -huh. like so right. that you basically turn your Chiago tips interchangeable in, tips into, into the flexies, flexies mm -hmm. which I think would be amazing. I think it would be amazing. And I have that one, that circle was Chiago. So, mm -hmm. um, I, but Chiago is a little bit sharp for me. Yeah. So after a while, I'm just like, oh, my fingers hurt. So it I have to, up bloody. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite that bad, but I mean, I, I just, I wish I wasn't such a baby when it came to my needles, but I guess it's just the way that I knit. But yeah, yeah. so yeah, I have a, I have a high, high set and an Addy set of, um, well, the Addy set is the circular, but the high, high are the flexies, like the mm -hmm. Addy flexies. Um, so do you ever knit either one of you, um, magic loop where you do two at one time on the same? I've tried it once. Yeah. I've tried it once it's... too, but in, in addition to cord management, you've got to do ball management. Yeah. Like I did it one time and I did not like And that. I was just I like, like having the socks done at the same time. Yeah. I would like that too. It was just a painful process. I like me. the two separate. Yeah, like, it was it was painful for me. I, yeah. I would like them done at the same time, and then you know you're doing the heel flap at the yeah. exact same spot and all this other stuff. But it was 
It was, and I've seen people do like two pairs before, like on a Wasn't 60. there someone that did like 12 socks one time? I don't, like, I don't oh. know, but that's just like too much yarn management on top of the yeah. cord management. And, um, but what I'll do is I'll tr like, I'll try and go like two or three inches and then I'll put that one down and I'll go to the other one yeah. and go like two or three inches or maybe, you know, five or six and then go back to the other one. And I try and keep, and then I'll do one heel and then one heel and then like half the foot, half the foot, toe, toe, whatever. So two at a time on separate needles. Two at a time on separate needles. Yeah. I try and keep them in sync because I do get yeah. second sock syndrome. So if I go do all you? the way through... I, the I only time understood that. the only time I don't is on those barley socks, <laughs> DK weight <laughs> sizes because those go so yeah, fast. I don't even have do. to, I don't even if have you time to do those. You should because yeah, I don't even have time to put fabulous. it down and and cast on the second one. I fly through it. I finish one sock mm. and I'm casting on the next. I I don't have it with those. My so. mom said during COVID because she had a really high fever for a few days. Um, and she couldn't get warm. And she said that's the only thing that kept her warm were those socks, socks. that I made her. She's just, you know, warm in bed. And she said mm -hmm. they, they really, really helped. They're really great socks. They really are. And then my only other um, whip, I started this a while back and then I had to put it away for gift knitting. Um, I don't remember the pattern. It's the one that you test knit for Jody. It's the Thursday. Is this the Thursday the or the Thursday Friday? Or the Friday hat. I think this is one it is. It's the two color. This I one's think this the two was, color. I think this is the Friday hat. This is the Friday mm -hmm. hat. So I this just is a great pattern. I just barely started it. It, it if it's pulled, you can see the burnt orange. It's really underneath. pretty. And so this yarn is Hill Country. No, uh, daughter's uh, fiber. Farmer's daughter. Farmer's daughter fiber mm -hmm. in the Hill Country colorway is the name of the colorway. And then I had for a contrast a fingering weight, and I could really see the difference. Like I started knitting it, and I was like. Yeah, my fingering weight is getting lost oh. inside the DK. So I ripped it back and I started over and I added, they match perfectly. Oh my gosh, yeah. I added, remember the shawl you did last yeah. year and I copied the Surrey. you? The Surrey alpaca from, from Lobby Anime. Lobby Anime. Mm -hmm. And I and I held those double. And um, so you can see it on the back side wow. more. Oh, that extra warmth. So mm -hmm. yeah. That would be nice in the brim. Yeah. So I'm going to go farther with that. Yeah. So anyway. It's just some leftover yarn I had. I had made a hat with this um, farmer's dog. It's daughter. good to use leftovers, though. Yeah. I always feel so accomplished. I do, too. Like, oh, I just I... made something great out of this little scrap. I felt, I felt you... accomplished that I yeah. matched. Like, I, loved hat. I was like, I have all these little scraps to be uh -huh. I'm like, what am I going to do with those? And then I'm like, oh, I used it for this hat. I, I felt accomplished it. that I matched two yarns from two different yeah. projects. Well, three yarns now because I added that Siri. I was like, oh, my God, I did this by, by myself. <laughs> No, we didn't get the midnight text. No, we didn't get the five in the morning text. It would be the five in the morning text because I am not up at midnight. Do you guys think this is okay together? I'm not quite sure. I'm terrible with color. What do you think? The night that I, I, before I woke up yesterday feeling like crap, I was tired the night before and I don't admit this very often, but I had texted my mom on Friday and I was like, I went to bed at 7.24 yesterday. What does that say about me? And I literally, I mean, my watch and everything was telling me like, you slept from 7.24 oh at gosh. night, and I think I got up at 5.18 or something like that. I mean, that's like a ridiculous wow. amount of And then I, I called in sick, and I went right back to bed. Oh, my I mean, I was so I was so wiped out. But it's just the cedar. Yeah. It was just the cedar had caught up with me. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to text you at midnight. I'll text you at 5 a.m., but I'm not going to text you at midnight. Yeah. You, Margie, and Evelyn are the morning people. I guess Jennifer. Jennifer. She's the morning mm -hmm. person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to get more like that, though. I used to being a school bus driver, but no. <laughs> I try. I'm trying now to, like, I'm. My problem is I really love to be up at night. I really. I, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And so on weekends, I love to stay up. Mm -hmm. And then it's like Monday morning. It's like. Oof. I need to keep myself on a consistent schedule. That's if I'm say. able to do that, then I'm fine. It doesn't matter if I'm doing the morning thing or the late, you know, as long as I'm doing one. <laughs> right. You can't switch so, it on the weekends. Yeah, I say that all hard. the time. It's like yep. you need to stay consistent, you know, throughout. So yeah. when we were trying to schedule time to meet here today, um, because <laughs> Melissa has an open house this afternoon and they yeah. were like, I was like, nine o'clock my house, and they're like, 9.30 ish. And I was like, look, I'm up at five. You guys come whenever you want to. I'll I'm be thinking, here. I have to leave like an hour she and has, a half. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I need an hour to get ready in the morning. I'll pack everything up the night before. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to get up before seven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, so. But. That's funny. Okay, stash, okay. stash, stash do you want to start or do you want us to start with our little things and then you have the I'll start because then it'll make me go fast. 
Oh, okay. All right, How's we're going to speed her up, all right? Okay, here we so, go. We're at 40 minutes. Let's see so if I can do So I just brought it. this. I had, um, <laughs> Tracy, I'm totally going to see if Audrey can speed it up. <laughs> Audrey, don't bleep me out. <laughs> Um, so I had the, um, the advent from, um, a home fun house and I had her non superwash merino base and it is, I, I, you would swear it was superwash. It is, it is so, so, so you soft. would swear it had cashmere in it, but it's not, it's just a hundred percent non superwash merino. It's absolutely amazing. And this was the full skein that came on, uh, Christmas day. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It is. So that isn't, I didn't bring all the evidence, but if you go on my Instagram, Lizzie S A T X. Um, I post it every day or every couple days. Shot to all my Evans. So if you haven't seen that and you're interested, it's all on there. Um, I also got some Mayak, and this was from the Black Friday sale from McKinney Knittery. I've never knit with Mayak, and I've always wanted to. So this is in the colorway Moss, and it's the Mayak Medium, and it came in a little kit. It's a beautiful, beautiful deep green. It's very dark It's green. so pretty. I only got one skein of this. I think I got two of black and maybe one gold or something. But um, I wish I had gotten more of this because it's so pretty. So I might pretty. I might get some. It smells good too. Are you smelling? Yeah. I can't smell it at all. They're like, oh, this smells so good. I'm like, and I said, you know what? This isn't an, is an animal smell. I said they had to have like put that out it's with sachets or something. It's either at home or their stuff. Yeah. 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 It smells good. It smells good. And then this is my um, January, my first shipment of the Jima Beans. Um, what's the mic called? The Jenna's? No. Quilty. Quilty. Uh, Quilty. Uh, Quilty is the Quilty pattern. Mm -hmm. I got the Madeline Tosh in, it's Madeline Tosh is the yarn dyer um, for the year. And I got the like pink and purple colorway. I think it was Jenna's choice or something. I think mine's Jen's choice oh. and yours is, I think. Um, the store's choice. The store's choice. Okay. Because, uh, I only think that because my package literally said Jen. Oh, the okay. So corner. you're right. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, mine's going to be all pinks and purples. I don't know. The blanket is beautiful. It, it actually is. looks like a quilt. I just don't know that I want, because we have three dogs, it's hard with the knitted blankets. They snag them. So I have to be really careful. So I don't tend to not use them. So I don't know that I'm going to make another knitted blanket, but I thought I just want this yarn all year long and then maybe I'll make sweaters or something. Sure. So this is the color rose. It's a real pale color. So a uh, pale pink, not pale color, but pale pink. <laughs> so I got that. Um, right before Christmas, I went to um, Georgetown to pick up some caramel apples from Kilwins. Um, that sounds delicious. Oh my gosh. There's a Kilwins downtown San Antonio. If you've never had the caramel apples from there, they are to die for. It's a store from Michigan originally. Oh, okay. okay. And so I used to bring them back from Michigan on the plane. Okay. So and now they have them here. And they have, yeah, you get the one with the pecans. Oh okay. my God, they're so good. All right. Anyway, well, I found out that they opened one in Georgetown, I think last summer. And I'm like, oh, I can't eat them for Christmas. So I went and got us some caramel apples. <laughs> and I went to the knitting cup. Because I had to go to the bathroom. I was, just saying, she, I was just about to say she had to go to the bathroom. And then I forgot to go to the bathroom. But I got some yarn. She so, got back on the road and she had to go again. This is from the company Dream. I had never heard of it. Um, and it's lamb and goat. It's 90% New Zealand wool, 10% cashmere. Oh, maybe lamb and goat. Oh, lamb and goat is the base. And it's fingering weight. I don't know. The color night. It's a really dark gray and it's really soft. You can feel that cashmere and whatever that New Zealand wool is. It's it is luscious. Soft. So I get that in that colorway. And then I have another skein somewhere in a light, just a creamy colorway. I don't know where it's, it is. It's right here. Oh, it's hiding. Carrie found it. Okay, this is the colorway bone. I think I'm gonna make um, Sophie shawls out of these. Just some neutral, throw on my neck things. And then um, part of the, oh, wait, one more thing. I also got this skein of, I've been obsessed with cashmere lately. I cashmere is awesome. I don't know why, but this little skein of cashmere premium from Lang, and it's um, 25 grams, 115 meters. It doesn't have the yardage, but anyway, it's like um, color 78498. I don't know. It's like a dark green but it's kind of heathered I don't know if you can see that and I think I'm gonna make um I picked up a pattern from from that store actually well she they had it on display there from Martha what's her last name Wissing I don't know 
She does a lot for them. She lives, I think she lives in Georgetown now or something. But anyway, it's a little bandana. It's called Deary, D-E-A-R-Y. And it's oh, just a little bandana that's cute. that has like um, um, an eye cord mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. back that ties it. And then you can wrap it around. And it's got a little like twisted knot eye cord like on the tip. On the tip. Super cute pattern. So I think I'm going to make that out of that. I can find the picture and just text it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I will. <clears throat> I brought it here somewhere. I don't know where it is. And then Miss Babs had their... Uh, after Christmas sale, I am oh, so obsessed with their Sojourn um, base, which is 65% cashmere and 35% silk. And this was on sale, and I've made that Sophie scarf out of it. And um, anyway, so I ordered some more just in the undyed. Got a couple skeins of that. And then I got the colorway. Oh, I don't know what colorway this is. Oz from the Wizard of Oz. It was like a beautiful emerald green and now then, i'm gonna have that song in my head yeah <laughs> see the wizard and then this is called field mouse which is like a taupey brown gray brown really pretty and then um my girlfriend from michigan that i think i showed those socks that she had blown through and i'm working on fixing them still <laughs> anyway i got a package from her right after christmas um and she sent me this um she had been somewhere up in northern Michigan and she went to the Crystal Lake alpaca farm and she bought me um, this is 90% alpaca 10% silk in the colorway of violet it's a worsted base and it's 200 yards it's and it's very pretty a light I love the lavender with some speckles and so she got me two skeins of that which was very luscious I think I might make I was thinking trying to think what to do with it and I think I might make a cowl and I might make two of them one for myself and one for her, and then we'll have matching. And I can oh, that'd matching. be awesome. And then she also got me this um, gorgeous yarn bowl from a gallery, from the East Ludington Gallery. And the artist is Ted, I can't read that, Brainard. And it's all engraved, yeah, oh, Brain End. Ted Brain End, it's all engraved on the bottom. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's just, gorgeous it's like a a work of art <laughs> literally so i thought um and it's um made out of cherry wood so from the cherry trees up in northern michigan so that and then the last stash enhancement i have is i got the 52 weeks of easy knits and i didn't think i was going to get this book because it looked like it was going to be a lot of bulky stuff and heavy for Texas and I'm like no I don't need another book and then I like started flipping through it when I was at the knitting cup and there are so many cute patterns in here that I I mean there's probably at least 10 things in here I want to make already and I'm like okay so I got it and the more I look at it like the happier I am so if you guys <laughs> haven't flipped through this book and you have go opportunity, to a yarn store go to a, yeah your LIS and look through it or look at a friends or whatever it's an amazing book amazing amazing some really Simple designs, but they're so simple that they're beautiful. They are. And mm -hmm. um, it's just a really, a lot of stuff that's really, be a really good chance to show the yarn versus the pattern. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where the yarn can shine. So highly recommend that book. Okay, I'm done. Every, time, you every time we get together, I try not to buy things, something. <laughs> She's like, like last time, time I bought it. <laughs> yeah, I might have to buy that book. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really so good. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. Now I've made a mess. Go ahead. Do you want to go through yours? <laughs> oh. Um, so I did not cancel my Suburban Stitcher page. <laughs> which is a good thing. That's good. It's somewhere down here. I see it. So this is oh. month 20. Ugh. Yeah. Month 20. And I get this. Part. Ugly. No. <laughs> so. What if Diane watches It's this? ugly. I should take it off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be doing you a favor. I know you would. Um. So I get her sport weight base, which is super mm. squishy. It's 328 yards. And this is the Tuscan Rose colorway that I got. It's gorgeous. So, yeah. I need to pretty. go. I've never used her yarn. I've never bought her yarn. Oh. I need to because I want to. What's the shawl that you made for her? That you plumpy. use? Plumpy. Plumpy. I want to make that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I want to make one as well out of these. Every Eventually. time I go on to buy it, it doesn't have like the cut. Like I guess she just sells out super fast, so or I'm yeah, late she, to the game. And so. she's, 
I think sometimes she has sport weight, sometimes she doesn't. Right. You know, like she will have more sure, fingering rotate. all the time. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I just haven't, I haven't hit yeah. that sweet spot yet to where when I, when I go. That would also be so pretty to do that new Andrea Mallory cardigan, the shift again. Uh -huh. I bought oh. that pattern. Wouldn't that be pretty with it that would. as the light, light colored mm -hmm. base and then do um, like spin cycle or a uh -huh. color shape. But I only have one skein of it, so um. I don't think that would work. But doesn't she can do you a thing buy where more? you can buy more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all. Mm -hmm. okay. I think Melissa was trying to save money, but she's I trying was. to not buy. And I'm like, you I should buy good. six more stains of this. No, I have so much yarn. <laughs> you could maybe do a fading one with the card chain. That would be pretty too. Yeah, because she does the spin cycle where it's the I forget which base where it's it's it does color change, but it's like very. And you could use your and color chain, solid. your fade. Yeah. You could make it. You could make the card like a fade. subtle fade. Wow. Oh. And With then different the color changing on. I'm gonna contrast. have you guys, you guys come over one oh, time and then you get my suburban stuff, and then we'll package it. With it would be powder. really pretty. Elizabeth will do that. Okay. Because I just I I'm 50 years old and I just got the hat down, so oh. that's. That's my limit. That's my limit for the year. <laughs> Your color stretching. I put the year. three colors from my stash together, and that was it. That's all I could do. You so. did. You did really good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I was pretty proud of this. <laughs> she had to sleep for Which twenty three hours after, but. <laughs> Cedar's bad. Really I don't know bad. if anybody else suffers from it, but it's it's killing me. But I I drank like a theraflu this morning, which is the only reason why I'm not dying. But um, yeah. but anyway, do you have more? No. Okay. That's it. I have a couple. All right. um, I'm trying to be good this year. <laughs> so Melissa got both. Elizabeth and I This is in the Bumble Bounce, Bumbles Bounce colorway. Oh, so cute. Self-striping sock yarn. So her packaging comes wrapped almost like, you know, in this fancy nice snap, you know, with a little mustache stamp and yeah. washi tape. Mm -hmm. So I could not peek in it when <laughs> I got it. She gave it to it like this so yeah. she didn't have a chance. Plus, she didn't have a chance to snip it either. She no. was just sniffing it. <laughs> just sniffing the parchment the paper. <laughs> Well, I figured I have to you to sniff it now. Yes. Her yarn does smell good. <laughs> it does. I can it's smell so that great. one. Yeah. <laughs> but so I have funny. cats and stuff, so I didn't know, you know, you guys wanted cat hair all over your stuff or not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she also got us the sock knitting journal. It's so. available on Amazon. That's so nice. It's very nice. It's all the details that you would want about all the socks that you knit. And, you know, we're all um, crankers now. So we, are. Um, we all three have a machine. And with that being said, we are doing, I am helping organize. She put that it's organized by me, but she's just so sweet. She's done everything. <laughs> Melissa is the owner of um, Farm to Needle Shop in, in Green, in Green, Green, Texas. In Green mm -hmm. Texas. And we are doing a crank in. April 30th from 12 to 4. And uh, that's a Sunday because our shop is usually closed on Sunday. So if you have a CSM and you want to crank in with us and you're nearby, um, go to the Farm to Needle um, website. and go Or to if you classes. don't have one and you're interested... Yeah. And why don't we just come and knit? And yeah. She's going to have $10, yeah. I think. It's $10. And it's going to cover some refreshments. But I'm sure someone will let you try their machine. I know I will let people try my machine. I will let somebody so. try mine as well. And I'm pretty sure another friend that I invited, she's a lady that invited me over to her home. Um, let me use her Speedster before mine even shipped. Mm -hmm. Um, I got in touch with her through Earlbacher, and she's a sweet, sweet lady. I think she's going to bring a couple of her. What is the Lajar? Laguerre. Le, Laguerre. Laguerre. I can never say that the word. Laguerre. The Laguerre. Mm -hmm. She's she has nine oh, machines. I want to try one of those. She has nine machines, and I think she's going to be. She's not going to bring seven to sell, but I think yeah. she's thinking of se keeping two and selling oh, the others. Oh wow! So oh, yeah, she I has. Can end up with her one. No, yeah, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, no. mm -hmm. so, I might have to not. And go. I'm pretty sure she's gonna bring one that she wants to sell. So, um, so anyway, and if you're interested, Which is a great you know, opportunity. It is a great yes. opportunity. It is a great opportunity. So if you're local, local and, yeah, yeah, if you're local the, or nearby, or you want to just come to Texas. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's one lady she told. I think her name is Jamie Pyle, and she lives at, in North Houston, and she's gonna drive a couple hours. Nice. 
um, you know, one way. And so if you're not, you know, too far from New Braunfels and you want to come for the day, and if we get enough interest, we might look into doing something longer, you know, like for mm -hmm. a whole weekend or, um, yeah. you know, what have you. But anyway, it's our first ever, so. Um, yeah, thank you, Carrie, for. Yes. Yes, you're welcome. I mean, I, I kept telling myself I needed to contact her for like a year. And I said, this is it. I'm doing it right now. And we now. kept telling her, Carrie's going to contact you. Yeah, I finally, finally did it. And she like got it organized in like a day. And we were up and ready. Yeah. So, and then this is from Alyssa. And this is so me. <laughs> because I do have a spreadsheet for that. I promise. <laughs> I absolutely promise. There was one. I don't know if you're into the whole... Um, temperature crochet blankets um so there's like this temperature like the temperatures of the day and then you crochet a blanket all year um i've also seen um a sex blanket where people take like <laughs> their acts whatever they do with their partner and they make different colors for that oh but what, yes there's a group on facebook for that oh, i didn't know that yeah there is and it can be like different things like you know missionary or or I don't know I'm just thinking of things that were on that group but what I've never seen and a friend of ours Tammy shared a reel with us in our in our Instagram um, is a poop blanket <laughs> and so this lady had made all these different colors based on different how, stitches. how different stitches depending on how many times she went that day or what the texture was or oh how she was feeling gosh. or I don't know, color, whatever. And she did this whole thing, but at the very it end, very big. it was very large, a very large blanket. But at the very end, she said, she's very regular. <laughs> it took, it took this many hours and you know, this many, this and this many, that and everything. And I was like, okay, I'm calling bullshit on the number of hours, because if you divide that out by 365 days, that's 16.85 hours a day. And I'm pretty Carrie sure. Says the <laughs> spreadsheet says there's no way it was 2,000 hours. <laughs> that's where my brain goes when I see stuff, when I see numbers. And I'm like, 6,000 hours? Really? I immediately do the math. I'm like, mm-mm, I call bullshit on that one. So She's probably in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Yeah, just she would have had to have been like no time for sleep, no time to eat, no time for nothing because oh six, it was like sixteen point eight hour eight five hours a day, sixteen point eight five hours a day. It was craziness, but um, anyway, I can't like, imagine how much yarn that is. It was, it was really a lot. Really it was a very big. large blanket. It, yeah. it was. It was like a tent. It was. It was funny. <laughs> then this is my colorway for the mat for the um, Jimmy Bean's wool. This is called Snake. It's a very dark um, green, also for and the. You're doing the blue and gold. I am. I'm doing mm -hmm. the blue and gold. So, so pretty. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one. And then I'm going to, this is a gift from Elizabeth, but I'm going to have to let her um, explain the story. Oh, because when I first got, this is just me being a ditz. When I first got it, it has my name on it, Carrie. And I thought, oh, Elizabeth must have just like, to, you know, this one is for Carrie. This one's for Melissa. And, you know, this one. So I just thought she put my name on it. So she knew which one to wrap as a gift for me for Christmas, but it's the colorway name. And so when they yeah. went, I'll let you go ahead with the so, DFW. Yeah, we went to DFW and this is um, Homestead Fibers. I forget where they're from. I think Louisiana or I'm not sure where they're from. But anyway, they were at DFW Fiber Fest. First time I've seen their yarn. And I walk in, you know, you're like immediately drawn to one color. So this is kind of like the color I was drawn to. And I picked it up and I'm like, oh my God, this is gorgeous have to have this and then I turned it over and I'm like Carrie I'm like oh, what are the odds I gotta buy this for Carrie and Melissa's like yes you have to and I'm like okay well I gotta get something for myself and I'm like okay next skein on oh, my next one I'm drawn to I pick it up Phyllis I'm like <laughs> that was my knitting mentor mm -hmm. who has passed and I was like what I'm like that's so weird and so then I'm like okay no how about this one I pick it up Nancy that's my mom's name I'm like this booth is possessed <laughs> <laughs> Mind. They have ESP. Really, really they were weird. changing the name of the colorway before the next person came out, so it could be. And fun. Melissa was like, "No way!" <laughs> <laughs> and all I was doing was looking at the color, picking up the skein, and then checking the name. It was we, so we like funny. went through that whole booth looking at names. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. The owner was very nice. Too. Yeah. So there's there's your and the yarn's really pretty. There's mm -hmm. your carry colorway. <laughs> there's there. There's and the I almost label. didn't give it to you. <laughs> And it is a very carry color. I mean, with all the perfect burnt orange and everything in it. And, and all the pink. Because you've been doing a lot of pink. I have pink. been doing a lot yeah. of pink. 
I've actually been thinking of getting the other blanket colorway because I like it so much and crocheting that one and knitting mm. the other you one. You should but, do it. Oh, it's just so much. Yeah, that's a lot. So that's much. Lot. I have to be realistic. But you, know? you did like, do two that one year. One I did do two it. that one year. But and then you it, said you would never do it again. And it ended, <laughs> but it ended, at least it ended up being the Christmas present, right? So if I did yeah. two this year and one of them's not the Christmas present, then I've still got to, you know, like knit a Christmas that's present. True. Yeah. So, but anyway. Way to be logical. Yeah, gotta be I was logical trying. every once in a while. I think I'm one is good. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. You can just look at mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will. I will. I'll drool over your skins. So. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess that's it. I, I can't believe we got on. that all in an hour. I thought we would go really long oh, today. Right in an hour. Yep. We're, we're doing good. So okay. when my daughter got her license, she was super excited and she told everybody how awesome of a driver she is. And then she got into a fender bender. Oh, Audrey, are you okay? She's she okay. She's okay. She's okay. okay. Did, it, did it ding her confidence, though? No. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. She had to do, like, a police report and everything. Oh. Um, they ended up doing an investigation, and they said it was 50-50. So we don't have to pay for the other person. Was there much okay. damage to the car? She can't open her passenger side door, um, but it's not too bad. Probably okay. about three. So passengers hours. have to get in the back and yeah, then they climb over to, and go to the front. No, they just sit in the back. <laughs> well, I guess it's good from a parental standpoint because she can't be driving all her friends around because they can't right. get in. Right. <laughs> and then, so she goes and she spends the night at a friend's house and she likes to back in. I always, she can't park forward. <laughs> she likes to back it in. Okay. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, and then, so wow. I, whenever she's in the car with me, I make fun of her. I'm like, look at me. I'm parking regularly. She's like, shut up. <laughs> Oh, that's Working in is harder. I think now I the think cameras. And I don't stuff. trust the cameras. Just... Anyways, <laughs> so she goes to her friend's house to have a sleepover. After this is after the investigation where she talked to a police officer oh, and gosh. all that. And then I get a Snapchat because she's got me onto Snapchatting with oh, one of her you friends. You have to teach me. I don't know how to do that. And one of her friends and her boyfriend Snapchatted me, and he sent me this picture. Like, did you hear what Audrey just did? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Oh no. So I call her. I'll see if I have a picture of it. It was so funny. Um, I could probably just insert it. Anyways, he sends me this picture, like outing her. And she ended up rubbing the car against the pole of oh. bricks. And I call her and she's like, hello. And I'm like, hey. So what did you do? And then I guess her friend was watching in her face. I guess Audrey's face was like, oh, like how no. did you know I was going to tell you? But. I just got done with that police report, and I figured we needed, like, time to cool down a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. So maybe she needs to practice a little more. She does. It was dark, and, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's part the car is kind of a piece of crap. Yeah. It's part of learning. It yeah. is. Oh, cool. yeah. So, yeah. At least it wasn't like a brand new car. Some people get their teenagers like oh. this brand new car, fresh off the lot. I'm like, I don't know why you're doing that. They're going to wreck oh, yeah. it. I, I mean, yeah, not a chance of, you know... If it's like when, when. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Now, if you had that child, that perfect child that didn't get in a wreck, I apologize. But the chances <laughs> are that it's going to yeah. get wrecked. But. Yeah. So anyway, she's still driving it. It's good. It was just funny that her boyfriend outed her. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is funny. That is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to he plays tennis and, you know, she's in softball and yeah. she actually got a job at IHOP. Oh wow! So today, I love today they're opening up a new one in our neighborhood or in our area. So nice. um, she's actually going to go train today to do it. And so it's exciting. Aww. That is exciting. Congrats, Audrey. Congrats. Yeah. Congrats. Sorry about the wreck, but congratulations. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you? Do you have anything else? I don't know. I mean, we were sick. It kind of took us out. It seems like Christmas didn't happen because <laughs> we had, you know, we bought all these foods that we like to prepare. I was off for 12 days. I was so excited to have the vacation only to be sick, but, mm. <laughs> and anyway, but we didn't eat most of the food. And so we froze what we could and whatever, but we still have, we bought a whole filet mignon and that was vacuum packed. So that we're having that this weekend. <laughs> so when should we be over? And crab legs. What too. time? What time? <laughs> yeah. Is that today or tomorrow? <laughs> I think we're doing it tomorrow. Um, what time tomorrow? <laughs> I'll put the details up here. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But so it felt weird. Like, crab we, legs. like we went out on Christmas Eve not knowing that we were coming down with COVID. And my neck really hurt on Christmas Eve. But the rest of I'm like, oh, why? I must have slept plenty. Well, was my lymph nodes were so swollen. Mm. I didn't know it until two days later when I tested positive for COVID. Mm -hmm. But because I had no other symptoms at first. 
And then that's when it all hit us. But yeah, it just felt weird because we didn't like do our normal holiday. It was, and, yeah, you uh -huh. know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So it just seemed. It like was weird, weird for us. We yeah. still did our regular eating and stuff. We we decided Paige was going to get up Christmas Eve. My dad goes to Central Market, which is a it's a grocery store here, but it's a special grocery store that has foods from all over, mm -hmm. lots of different countries and stuff. And anyway, he gets lots of. Um, real fancy cold cuts and stuff and that's how we do our Christmas but he gets them fresh that morning with fresh baguettes and brie mm. and camembert mm. and I mean just so delicious um so she tested Paige tested really early to see if um, by any chance we could still do it Christmas Eve but she was still positive she tested ne negative that night oh geez. yeah late Christmas Eve night she finally tested negative and um she got to you know help Antonio get the I don't think they had any milk in the house so I think they left him coffee and cookies and um, so she had to help him you know do that with a mask on but at least she had tested yeah. negative so she came out of out of her thing but then we just did it the following Wednesday so I'm sure my dad looks kind of strange at Central Market not getting it Christmas Eve but getting it like a week late you know so they're probably like where have you been yeah, where have you been did you do you know you missed Christmas but, yeah. yeah anyway so, it was nice. It was still nice. We should do a knit along or something. We oh, should. we are going. Away, we or... talked about doing a knit along. That was um, wrong. We're going to do a old a pattern okay. stitch, but we haven't set a date yet. So okay, next we'll just allow you recover from your holiday, and then next podcast, which hopefully will only be a few weeks, um, we'll talk about the knit along. Okay, something from things. Stash. Usually, yeah, but we talked about doing old using a, a pattern that you've had in your library okay. or in your house, whatever, for uh -huh, a while. For a long time. That you bought with the intention of knitting and never knit, that you really still love and want to knit. Of course. So doing that, and then maybe getting extra entry for using stash yarn, something like that. Sure, so, yeah, that'd be fun. We'll put together stuff, um, and some prize stuff, and we'll figure it out for next podcast. We'll announce it, announce the start date, but it'll be probably be sometime in February. That'll be perfect. Mm -hmm. So you can start thinking about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, you have to go to your own yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. Sorry, mm. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Y'all do great. I have to do it, though. Fine. It's slightly, not a lot of people show up to open houses, so you never know if it's going oh, to be there. We yeah. had a, there was an open house across the street. Uh, I know the neighbor, and um, he, his realtor was there all day, and, and he ended up texting me later that night. He says, you didn't have anybody show up. It's funny because they stopped doing open houses pretty much for a while because there was mm -hmm. no need. I mean, things were just selling to us. So, so now fast. you can tell things have slowed down because mm -hmm. the more house. and more you're hearing about open houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And most of it is just to meet people. Yeah. Um, just to build relationships. Maybe you can find a buyer, maybe not. Maybe yeah. you have a realtor. Who knows? So. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah. I've had this oh. one on the market for a while. So mm -hmm. well, I hope it might be priced a little bit high. I don't know. Mm -hmm. but I hope it's successful. Mm -hmm. So one thing yeah. with mobile homes is that they're hard to finance. They can be hard to finance if it's been moved more than once. Um, you can't do FHA or VA, so you have to, mm. and actually a lot, of conventional conventional. Won't, a lot of even conventionals won't touch it. So Really? Okay. So if you want to buy a mobile home, 21st Mortgage is the way to go. <laughs> they <laughs> will finance a lot of people. There are people that not many people can get financing for. Mm. So that's my tip. <laughs> that's my real estate tip. So, yeah. All right. Okay, well, all right. we hope you all have a lovely weekend and yes. that you had great holidays, whatever you celebrated, or if you didn't, that you just enjoyed your time yeah. since we last saw you. And thank you again for spending your time with us. Mm -hmm. And um, every time someone leaves a comment, um, we love you know, love the interaction. We so we comment do. away. And also if you are not subscribed, we're trying to grow the channel and trying to, we're getting closer to 700. So, um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And Thank if you you've liked up. anything, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. <laughs> we appreciate it. So, all right. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Take right. care. Bye-bye. Happy knitting. <laughs>